Have you ever felt like you are doing all the things right on your fitness journey, your health, your nutrition, your training, but something's missing and that something is support or other people or someone to share it with? Because a lot of us are in that 5%. We're in the 5% of people that are really going after the best versions of ourselves and we feel like the majority of people around us aren't doing the same. Today's Quick Wits is all about elevating your game and your success by doing it as part of a community. And I'm going to share two amazing ways that you can do that. Welcome to the Wits and Weights podcast. I'm your host, Philip Pape, and this twice a week podcast is dedicated to helping you achieve physical self-mastery by getting stronger, optimizing your nutrition, and upgrading your body composition. We'll uncover science-backed strategies for movement, metabolism, muscle, and mindset with a skeptical eye on the fitness industry so you can look and feel your absolute best. Let's dive right in. Today we are talking about an essential truth when it comes to self-motivation and when it comes to personal growth and improvement, and that is that this journey is often much more fulfilling and much more purposeful and more successful when you don't go it alone, when you can do it with other like-minded people, and that's the key is like-minded, not toxic people, negative people, people who don't get it, but people who do. And this applies to all areas of life, uh, in my experience, but in the realm of fitness and personal growth, especially, I have found that you are in a very tiny slice of a tiny minority when you're actually trying to improve your muscle, improve your health, improve your vitality as you get older. It's sort of the opposite path of what everyone else is doing who is getting more frail, they're losing muscle mass, they're not focused on their health. And so when you're doing this, the power of having a group of people that are sharing the similar or same goals cannot be overstated. And that's why I wanted to put out this episode today, just to tell you that you are not alone. You've got a community. Uh, that community is your fellow podcast listeners and the Wits and Weights Facebook group, which is totally free. You've also got a community in the Wits and Weights Physique University semi-private group coaching experience. Now that's a that's not free, but it's also a different way to get into a group of people who are going after their goals relentlessly with commitment and dedication, just like you are. And so it really all depends on the level of support you want. But either way, there's a home for you with other people like you going after the things you're going after. And so whether you need a little bit of uh, motivation, a question answered, you want to share your struggles with others and see if they've had the same struggles and what are they doing about it, or, and I can't overstate this, positivity and optimism, which is the foundation, one of the foundational values of, of the groups that I am part of and, and that I lead as well. We don't abide negativity, right? Realism and solving problems is different than a negative mindset. We have a positive mindset that no matter how bad things might seem or actually get, there's always hope in the future if we take action. That is what I mean by positive. And the beauty of all of this lies in the balance, right? Lies in the balance of sharing your experiences, but you're going after your goals in a, what seems like a lonely individual pursuit, right? When you're in the gym, when you're lifting weights, it seems like it's just you because it is, it's just you, but in your head, it's not just you. It's everyone else who has the, the camaraderie and the collective wisdom and the sense of belonging and the accountability and all of these things that you cannot replicate when you are only doing it in a vacuum by yourself. Now, many of us are, I'll call loners, or we are perfectly happy by ourselves in our own head, in our own space, doing things. I can be there for hours at a time myself. And so why would you make that shift from going it alone to being in a group? Why is a group going to get in the way? Is it just this annoying thing? Like, can I be sure that others are like me? And I think there are some compelling reasons to seek out community. First, the science does support the idea that motivation and self-motivation um, is enhanced tremendously when there is an element of relatedness, meaning others are doing what you're doing and you get this motivational boost from working alongside peers. You see others push through their barriers and that inspires you to tackle yours. There's also a shared learning experience 
to being in a community. The the tips, the advice, the encouragement, they flow freely. And you're like this almost collective brain <laughs> that is enhancing your perspectives, giving you new solutions, new ways of thinking about common challenges. And it accelerates that whole process tremendously. All right. Another thing it gives you is a unique, a unique space that doesn't exist out in the quote unquote, like real world, I'll call it, even though this is the real world, but you know, you are trying to grow personally, you are trying to connect, and it's hard to just do that randomly with the people you interact with in the world. So a group like our Facebook group or like Wits and Weights Physique University is a place where you know for a fact you can come and find people like that. And it now becomes more than just this personal quest. It becomes a shared adventure. You can form bonds that go well beyond the gym. You have a network of support and friends that you can reach out to for life that uplift each other in all areas of your life, not just fitness. So if you've been navigating your fitness journey solo, if you've been going alone and you've been finding it a challenge to stay motivated or to overcome plateaus, this is a great time to think about what I am saying right now in your ear. Consider joining a group, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be ours. It doesn't have to be ours, but if you like what you hear and relate to what we talk about, definitely consider, I invite you to join the Wits and Weights Facebook Facebook group. It is totally free. I'll include the link in the show notes. Or consider joining Wits and Weights Physique University. It launches in April. So when this episode comes out, it's really close to launch. I will include the link to get on the early pre-sale notification list for that. But either way, just remember, we are absolutely stronger together. And if we embrace that power, that power in numbers, that power of community, this will help you take your health, your fitness to new heights that you never could imagine. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wits and Weights. If you found value in today's episode and know someone else who's looking to level up their wits or weights, please take a moment to share this episode with them and make sure to hit the follow button in your podcast platform right now to catch the next episode. Until then, stay strong. Hey, before you go, I want to let you know about a free resource I have. They are free guides on everything from fat loss to eating out to building muscle to managing hunger to figuring out the best macros for you and more being added all the time. You want to get the most out of these podcasts and your time to look and feel your best, and these free guides will give you a quick and easy way to know what to do. If you want to get your hands on these completely free guides, you can head over to witsandweights.com slash free. That's witsandweights.com slash free to get your free guides and level up your results today.